Hello and welcome to this video on confidence interval. In statistics, we often use samples to make uh, intervals about larger population. However, since we are only using a sample, there is always some uncertainty about our estimates. So this is where confidence interval comes in. In this video, we will be discussing what confidence interval is, why it is important in statistics and how to calculate it. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and click on the bell icon to get notified. So before we dive into calculating confidence interval, let's first understand some key concepts like sample mean, standard deviation and standard error. The sample mean is the average of all the values in a sample. So it is calculated by adding up all the values in the sample and dividing by the sample size. So you sum up all the values and divide by the number of samples. So that will give you the sample mean. The standard deviation is the measure how spread out the values in a sample are. It is calculated by taking the square root of average of the squared differences between each value and the sample mean. And the standard error is the standard deviation of the sample mean and it is calculated by dividing standard deviation by the square root of sample size. The margin of error is the range of values above and below the sample mean that we are confident the true population mean lies within. It is calculated using the formula that takes into account of the sample size, standard deviation and desired level of confidence. Finally, interpreting the results involves understanding what confident intervals tells about our data. To help uh, explain these concepts, let's uh, take a look into this uh, graph. As you can see in the graph on the left, approximately 68% of the data point is within one standard deviation of the mean, 95% of the data points is within two standard deviation of the mean and 99% of the data points is within the three standard deviation of the mean. So this rule is called as the empirical rule also called the 6895 99.7 rule which is a guideline for how the data is distributed in a normal distribution. So we will look into that in uh, detail and calculate the confidence interval. So the calculate to calculate the confidence interval we can use this formula ci is equal to x bar plus or minus z into s by square root of n. So where uh, x bar is the uh, which represents the sample mean, z represents the z value we get from the normal standard distribution, s is the uh, sample standard deviation and uh, n represents the sample size. The s and uh, uh, sigma can be uh, used based on where the sample data is uh, standard deviation is calculated. The standard deviation calculated for the population data is denoted by sigma and the standard deviation calculated for uh, sample data is denoted by S. Where uh, the uh, sigma is the standard deviation of the population and S is the standard deviation of the sample. So if you are ca if you are calculating uh, standard deviation from the sample, it will be denoted as S. So let's see uh, why it is important uh, to calculate the confidence interval or why what is the importance of confidence interval. The confidence interval is uh, critical in uh, statistical analysis because it represents the range of probability of results falling between a specific set of points around the sample mean. So these values represents the degree of certainty and uncertainty that you would have about the results of surveys or studies or any uh, any uh, anything which you perform or any research uh, you perform. Measuring the confidence interval is also essential uh, calculation to determine the confidence level which is your percentage of certainty. Typically, the statisticians uh, apply a confidence level of 95% to 99% certainty to find the highest probability of arriving at same result each time they appear in a repeat study. So now we understand the basic concepts. Let's uh, uh, look at an example and uh, see how to calculate a confidence interval. So for this example, let's consider we have taken a simple random sample of uh, 50 adults and uh, each person's uh, RBC count is measured. RBC count is nothing but the red blood cell uh, blood count and the sample mean is 4.63 and the population standard deviation is found to be 0.54. Now let's construct a 95% uh, confidence interval uh, to estimate for the mean red blood cells of the adults. So th given uh, the we have a number of samples available that is 50 
and we have the standard deviation of uh, 0.54 and the sample mean is uh, 4.63 so now let's uh, apply these uh, values in the equation so as mentioned uh, margin of error to calculate the margin of error we need upper limit and the lower limit so confidence interval is a range uh, which will have an upper limit and the lower limit so to calculate the confidence interval we can use the formula uh, x bar plus or minus z into n to standard deviation by square root of n so for calculating the upper limit uh, instead of plus or minus we will use the plus and for uh, lower limit we will use the negative symbol so for upper limit uh, we have uh, x bar that is uh, 4.63 plus the z value z value you can see uh, from the table uh, given on the right side so it is uh, for 95 percentage confidence interval uh, it is uh, 1.96 this can be found in a uh, uh, distribution table also you can refer to the uh, z table to get these values but for uh, for 80 percentage 90 percentage and 95 percentage these are the fixed values so you you can just uh, directly uh, remember these values and use for 95 percentage confidence so uh, the set value uh, for 95 percentage confidence is 1.96 and uh, we have the standard deviation of 0.94 and the number of samples is 50 so take the square root of 50 uh, standard deviation by uh, the square root of 50 and you will arrive at uh, this value that is 4.7797 uh, and for the lower limit you can apply the same and we will get the value of 4.4803 so the estimate of the mean red blood cell count of adults at 95 percentage confidence interval is given as 4.4803 comma 4.7797 so this is how we represent the data in a confidence interval at 95 percentage so in summary the confidence interval is the range of values that we are confident the true population mean lies within so it is calculated using the sample mean standard deviation standard error and margin of error by understanding and interpreting the confidence interval we can make more informed decision based on our data hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please press the like button and share it with your friends thank you